Arya Stark is quite the magnificent character. As a matter of fact, she is, next to Jon Snow, Daenerys, Tyrion, Jaime, Cersei, and Brienne, my favorite POV to read. In this video, I want to do just a couple of quick predictions for where her character will be in The Winds of Winter when it finally comes out. Special thank you to these individuals as they are the ones who are responsible for these videos and without them, I really wouldn't be able to make them. They're basically executive producers and all members of my Patreon family over on patreon.com slash their hunt reviews. If you all watching this want to consider joining and helping me combat YouTube from delisting my videos, basically what that means is YouTube will put my video up in their algorithm for an hour or so and then it virtually disappears, making the view count and the likes and dislikes and comments and all that stuff plummet immensely because it's not in YouTube's algorithm. YouTube's not actively promoting the video. So a way to combat that is just Patreon. And that's only if you enjoy my content enough and can spare a few extra dollars a month. Uh, let's jump right into it. Aria! Now, real quick, most people watching this video probably know who Aria is. Um... But just as a refresher, I want to pick five words that describe her, right? So, awesome, uh, amazing, uh, a badass, warrior, and don't take no shit, right? The main reason why I pick those words is because literally from Arya's first POV, we realize that she's going to be one of the more interesting characters to read about. Because during this time, women are very much uh, kitchen witches. They're they're like kitchen winches, rather. They're 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 made to do things that would be considered proper of a lady to uh, learn about. Like Arya has to weave and sew things with her needle, she has to curtsy, she has to practice her manners, she has to be polite, she has to uh, basically be what that society's idea of a proper young lady is. She has to be that. And then you read her POV and you're like, hold up, this little bitch is wild. She ain't listening to really nobody except for Ned. And honestly, Ned has the most influence over her. And honestly, you also realize that most girls from the North are very much like Arya. And Sansa's the one who's not necessarily going with the grain. Northern girls are taught how to hunt, fish. They're taught how to hawk. They know how to build a fire. They know how to survive in the wilderness. Sansa's the outlier there because she doesn't really know how to do any of that. Arya kind of, not kind of, does know how to do all of that. Their journeys are sort of like mirrors to each other. They both suffer immensely. And that's one of the things that I wanna, I'm gonna make a new video about it. I, I have my, recently I've had my perspective on Sansa change drastically, right? But their journeys um, are different, but they also mirror each other. So there's moments in particular where Arya is going through something, like she's going through, at nighttime, Arya has a list of names, right, that she says every night before she goes to bed, she wishes them dead, right? This is a key cornerstone to her character because even when she's in the House of Black and White and in Dance of Dragons, right, and in the POV uh, sample chapter that we've gotten from Winds, the Mercy chapter, she is becoming no one, right? But she still kind of says the list of names in her head, so that'll kind of bring her back to it. With, with Sansa... She goes through so much shit, but ultimately she still wishes for the things that she wanted in the beginning. She just realizes now that it's not going to be so easy to get. One of my favorite things about her character, and then I'll do some predictions for Winds of Winter. One of my favorite things about her character is that she's so fucking stubborn. I can't help but relate to her character. Meaning like, uh, she's warned by Thoros and Beric, like don't leave, right? Like, if you leave, it won't be as easy as you think it would be to survive on your own. But then she does leave, right? And then, guess what? She kind of survives her. She does exactly what they told her she wasn't going to be able to do, and then she does it. People have said that shit to me, too. Like, people have told me, hey, don't, don't uh, do this. If you do that, it's going to cause this to happen. And I went and did it, 
anyway, and I succeeded, right? I succeeded my way. So that's kind of very admirable about Arya. So one of the things that we realized Arya can do early on is similar to what Bran and Jon Snow and we assume Rickon can do, right? Sansa was never able to because Lady was killed and she didn't really form that strong of a connection and a bond with her direwolf. But Arya can work, not just her wolf, all the way over in the Riverlands, Nymeria, who's running with a super pack of regular wolves, right? She can work a cat, right? So there's a time where the kindly man is testing her, and she's blind because she killed someone she wasn't supposed to. Very much like what happens on the TV show, but he's asking her questions, and she knows the answer to something, and he doesn't know how. And she's like, I don't have to tell you how. But basically, she wards a cat, and she's watching him from the ceiling. So it's pretty amazing. I think that's... Uh, one of the predictions that I want to make playing that into it is that she, her warging abilities will increase immensely. The fact that she lost one of her senses and that's what sort of kicked her powers into overdrive makes me think that that type of uh, training that she did unconsciously or subconsciously rather, right? She kind of didn't know how she did it. She just did it. That kind of Ability naturally speaks volumes for what she will be able to do in the future. So I think eventually she may even rival rival Bran in his abilities. Like, I think Jon Snow, Bran, and Arya are the ones who are the most connected with the old gods and who have the strongest abilities. For instance, Jon Snow's wolf ghost brushes up against his leg, and then Jon Snow can see better, he can smell for miles, he can hear better, and it's only for an instant. And he doesn't even have to ward in a ghost. Ghost just brushes up against his leg. And then Arya. Arya can work an entirely different species, a fucking cat. And she's never trained at all. At least with Jon Snow, he's north of the wall and knows of wargs and everybody's talking about skin changers and all this shit. And Bran is literally chilling with the green seer on his way to go see the three-eyed crow, right? All of that. And, like, Arya doesn't have none of that shit. And she still can work Nymeria in the Riverlands, right? She's in the Riverlands and that happens. But also... She's all the way down in Bravos, and she's working cats and shit. She could not be further away from the old gods. Although that's not true, because Bravos does honor the old gods. Um, Alright, so that's my first bold prediction for Arya. Her warg abilities will increase immensely. And another bold prediction that I want to make for Arya, this one's pretty fucking obvious. She's going to make her way back to Westeros. Like, how she left the Faceless Men on the TV show is nonsense. You can't do that. They're a massive, mysterious assassin organization, and if you run away with their secrets, they're going to track you down and fucking murder you. The God of Death will have another face to add to his hall of faces. That's what would happen. So the only way she'd be able to leave is if Jacken allows her to. Or better yet, unless she, if she gets a contract to go to Westeros. After she finishes some more of her training, she will go to Westeros and then maybe break free that way. You kind of, you can't ever really leave those organizations. It's like Jacken Hagar went on a crazy journey, but he eventually... We assume he's the kindly man at the House of Black and White all the way down in Bravo. So, like, yeah, he was able to be in Westeros for a time, but he ultimately had to go back and pay service and, and, and become the kindly man. I don't know if Arya, when she goes back to Westeros, she'd be allowed to stay permanently. Like, you can't just leave with secrets and knowledge, right? In the book version of Westeros, every single consequence... Or every single action that you take has a reaction and has an equal consequence. Like, that's one of the things that the show kind of forgot about. Arya can't just leave the House of Black and White. She will have to do so on a contract, or she will have to work out something with Jacken. And if she does leave House of Black and White, it'll be with no hands, or no feet, or no eyes, or no mouth, or something, so that she's completely impaired She's learned too much. This bold prediction that I want to make is kind of tied into the last one is that she will kill Cersei wearing the face of Jaime because Jaime will be killed by Brienne after they complete a mission for Lady Stoneheart. Now you're probably like, what, dude? What? That's a crazy. Yeah, no, it's a tinfoil theory. I forgot to say, put your tinfoil caps on for this theory. But I do think that Arya will go back to Westeros and related to that, she will try to kill Cersei. She has to. Cersei and Joffrey and Jaime are kind of the cause of this whole thing, and they've been number one on our list for a minute. 
I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want me to do another character like Jon Snow, Daenerys, or that Sansa video that I've been teasing not only here but on my Twitter, let me know down below in the comment section and I'll work on it for you. My name's Mark and I plan on finally watching the new uh, Star Wars show. Like, I haven't even seen it yet. I've been wrapped up in Stranger Things. You probably saw I released a video for that as well. Uh, but I do, I will be watching Kenobi very soon and I want to break it down if it's good. Um... Thank you all so, so much for watching. My name's Mark, and this has been Sir Hunts. Special thank you to these individuals right here. My name's Mark, and this has been Sir Hunts. Oh, yeah, and thank you for watching. Reviews along that. Until Trisas Pustari. Ho, ho, ho. Ixos. Ho, ho, ho. Daor.